Hey. Okay. Oh, he doesn't look like a shadow anymore, though. Huh? Well, you've got a shadow, so I'm guessing you ain't a ghost. So just who the hell are you? Ha <laughs> Welcome, my guest, to my humble, transient abode. I receive you with open arms. Your host will not disappoint, I assure you. Is that the black orb mint? Wait, what's this music? Hey, hey, this is like some Final Fantasy XIV boss music. A mask. He's exactly as you and Polly described him, Estelle. So then, you are the ghost who has been disturbing Ruan. Indeed I am, Princess Claudia, and he knows who Chloe is. It is the greatest pleasure to meet you in person at last. How do you know who Chloe is? Haha, <laughs> my pet, there is nothing, no item or secret on this plane or above which I cannot take. Ah, but I am on Kuth, and have not introduced myself to my guests. Allow me then. Dude, I like how he has like an entire portrait. I am enforcer number 10. The mysterious, gentlemanly phantom thief, Blue Blanc. Blue Blanc? Enforcer number 10. See, I don't know. I Does that mean he's part of Ouroboros? Does Ouroboros have like different enforcers? Because I think enforcer number zero was, uh... Who's that one kid? That came out of the, the plane, right? Uh, that is to say the enforcer number 10 of the Society of Ouroboros. Okay, yeah, he is Ouroboros. So we just happen upon someone who's an Ouroboros? Aw, oh, hell. <laughs> they all take a step back. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah, it was, it was Campanella was enforcer number zero, right? Such murderous, withering glares. I assure you, they are not necessary today. I am merely here to perform a simple, trivial experiment. Not even the slightest hair on my body has any intention of conflict with you. An experiment. Wait, that's... That's the Black Ormond Colonel Richard had. The Gospel. Quite. Except, unless my eyes deceive me, that one is even larger than the last. Interesting. It is as he said, then. You already know of these. The Gospel 1 hold is a new model. Developed for the purpose of experiments such as this. It has proven quite the aid in my test over the past few days. Test. What test? What indeed, as they say. A picture is worth a thousand words. Allow me to show you in person. The ghost? No, it seems to be a projection of some sort. Cast into the air using that device. I've never heard of such a device being invented. Naturally not. This is a hologram projector that we developed. Of course, the projector on its own can cast images a little farther than this, but with the power of a gospel, one can do such things as this. Ah. Holy. Okay. So, well, the projector has an, has an orbman in it. So is it saying that it can enhance the power of other orbments or other quartz? Well, that con concept is clear enough, I think. The good citizens of Ruin received a once-in-a-lifetime performance. They should be thrilled. So this was all just a bunch of bullcrap pranks, then. <coughs> pranks. Such an insult to my performances. Hmm. It was a gift of enjoyment and distraction to a city suffering the stresses of a heated election. Can you not see the beauty of such a gift? Okay, I kind of get what you're doing, I think, but... Tell me, why did you do all this? Why did you scare so many people? What are you people? What does Ouroboros have planned? Ah, but it is not my place to speak the mind and purpose of the Grand Master. Forgive me. Why I myself am here assisting in the plan, however simple. I've come seeking an audience with you, Princess Claudia. What? Your beautiful pride, which was on such magnificent display when you brought justice upon the old mayor. I agreed to participate in this plan to claim that beauty for my own. Oh, I have awaited this day on pins and needles for months. You cannot imagine my joy. Wait, is he trying to steal Chloe? What? Justice upon? You mean what happened with Mayor Dalmore? Wait, how the hell do you know what ha about that? 
I was a fly on the wall for that little event, or perhaps a shadow, like this, for example. Wait, he was there? The master, wait, what? You were in the Dalmore mansion? What? A phantom thief is, in essence, a worshiper of beauty. We chase it, we covet it. And that, which is prideful, cannot help but captivate us. I wonder, I kind of want to go back to the first game. I kind of want to go back to the first game and just like, click on him. And just like, see if he'll tell me. Or if like, there's some kind of clue. Princess, your pride has stolen my heart. Indeed, you have stolen the heart of a phantom thief. Ah, oh, what sweet humiliation this is. My pet, how do you intend to atone for such a slight upon me? Um, I don't really... He's so full of himself, he's about to fall over. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Oh, I beg you, do not compare me to that. <laughs> Olivia... So you're an agent of Ouroboros. You aren't what I was expecting, but... If you're going to try and hurt Chloe, I'm definitely going to stop you, Estelle. Right, in accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with intrusion, theft, and a bunch of other junk. We've got a whole lot of questions for you. That gospel thing just the start, so come quietly or we break your teeth. Huh. Abortion. Arrest? Me? While it would be invigorating to have a little frank cause... I did choose this place for a reason. I shall allow him to be your opponent, I believe. Huh? So we're not even gonna fight him? What the? Hmm, I would say I have a bad feeling, but somehow I feel it's too obvious. This better not be the final boss from the first game walking out of this. Oh, it's worse. It's a Gundam. It's a straight up Gundam. What the heck is that thing? Some kind of armored centaur machine. Why, it seems he was once the guardian of this place. The poor chap was half broken when I arrived. I repaired him out of the kindness of my heart, you see. Since he's here, I think he could serve as a worthy opponent, don't you? You have to be kidding. Here it comes. Phew, we won, I think. Ugh, what a waste of time. Alright, clown, your turn. Hope you don't mind a few missing teeth. No. No. Karyu, don't do this to me. Really now, such a lack of elegance in your fighting styles. I'd hope for better. No! Why? Oh, well, if I must, let me show you a proper example of elegance. Lame. Are you gonna resurrect him? No. What? But the torches. Oh no, they just lit, he just lit the torches. Aguilé. Ugh. The fuck? He did something to our shadows. Apologies, my guest, but I must ask that you remain still from this point forward. You seem surprised when Dalamore's treasure did this, however. For we and forces, such abilities are trivial, even without such crutches. No. Damn it, didn't expect this. Oh, you didn't see the bird coming in. Oh, come on. Oh, there you are, courageous little white knight. Your chivalrous bravery is admirable, but I must ask you to remain still for a while. Yo, if he just killed Sig, I would be so sad right now. Ah, uh, my Princess Claudia. You are now a prisoner to my desires. Yeah, <laughs> how does it feel, I wonder? Do not think that this will break me. Even if you bind my body, you shall never enslave my heart. So long as I am myself, you will never take me. Yes, yes, those eyes. This is getting a little bit, um... Pervert. Those eyes that shine with such beautiful pride, which say, I will never break. That shine is what I desire. Ah, uh, you are everything I hoped for. Oh my gosh, and then the bot in chat. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get rid of the bot real quick. What the heck? And then the bot. Uh.
Gosh, that bot was going ham. What? That bot was so much. The bot read the room is all right. Hey, cut the crap, okay? Creepy mask dude, get the hell away from Mike, from Chloe. Oh, they all moved. Creepy mask dude, really, to not understand the beauty of this mask. You have a very dim understanding of refinement, pet. I ask you, be silent. Dude, he's calling Chloe a, I mean, calling Estelle a pet. Hmm? Ah, uh, my apologies. You've simply made a very crude mistake. I'm afraid I couldn't help but give an innocent chuckle. Oh, this should be amusing in the way watching a pig wallow in mud is captivating. And what exactly is my mistake, Bard? I certainly wouldn't deny Claudia's beauty, not even for a moment. Her beauty, however, extends far beyond the estimation your frail, tasteless aesthetic provides. You may approach her again when you have learned the first thing about beauty, Jester of the Grand Master. What? Your words are bold in the face of death, Erebonian. But what gives you... Vagabond, musician, scum, such as yourself any right to insult my sense of beauty. Choose your next words carefully, for they will determine your fate. Hmm, then I shall phrase them as a question. What is beauty? Is Olivia about to, like, throw his hair back and be sparkly? Tut tut, you disappoint. I expected more than such foolishness. Beauty is pride. A distant light gleaming far above mortal cares. Indeed, can any other question or any other answer ever even be allowed? I think not. Really, I can't even laugh at such an answer. True beauty, Blanca Boris is love. <laughs> what? <laughs> A beauty only exists because people are brave enough to love, and without love, without the bonds of affection and camaraderie. That bind us together, beauty is not but a hollow illusion. The prideful and the humble both shine as a diamond in love. Bah, how childish. Love is the hollow illusion, you cloudish jungler. Beauty is an absolute, its existence does not depend on transient human emotions. Yes, just as the flower that blooms on the highest mountain, unseen by man, remains beautiful in an anonymity. Hmm. Uh, I've never been forced to listen to a more brain-rottingly stupid conversation in my life. I, um, um, I'm not quite sure what to say to all this. Never would I have expected to find a proper rival in the ways of beauty among such ruin. Musician, give me your name. Do they like each other now? Olivia Lindheim. A wandering bard and hunter of love roaming to and fro in search of its perfect manifestation. Olivier Lindheim. Hmm, I shall remember that name. Ah, uh, hey, I finally found you guys. Wait, this Dorothy? Hey, <laughs> sorry, I know you said to wait, but you guys were so late, I couldn't wait anymore. Dorothy? How did she even get here? Oh no, Dorothy, run away, please. Huh? Hey, a masked man in white clothes. You're the ghost, aren't you? You are. What? Uh, well. Okay, say cheese. Is he about to lose to a picture? Huh? How did that work? Ah, I can move again. Well, hey, the flashbulb wiped our shadows. Ah, what an astounding girl. Photography and perfectly timed heroism all in one package. <laughs> you leave it to me. Even though I don't know what I, uh, did. Ha ha ha. Isn't he just gonna redo it again? Crap. The gospel. Uh, it has been an age since I have been entertained, so... You have my thanks, my guest. You son of a... What are you gonna do now? I'm going to end our reverie for tonight. Forgive me if I seem an ungracious host. It appears, however, that I must take stock of my assumptions about you. I can see now why the Black Fang takes such an interest in you. He's just leaving us alone because of Olivia. What is this bot doing here again? You're right. Dude, what is going on with this today? I feel like we have this, like, bot coming in here. Like, crazy today. And even, like, all the other streams. I don't know what's going on. Why are there so many bots on here? The Black Fang. You. You mean Joshua. 
We are old acquaintances in a sense. The reason you came to my attention at all was because I noticed the, that shock of black hair and those amber eyes with you. Though his memories have returned to the stage of his mind, I do wonder where his re where he's rehearsing. Uh, the hell was. Dude, he's just leaving us alone because he likes Olivier. I must now take my leave, my guest. The true plan has but started. I would gird yourselves for long labors and suffering ahead if you intend to oppose us further. And I do intend to keep our little game going on the side. Till next we meet. Just teleports on out of here. He's gone. I, I still can't believe it. Wowie, it's like a magic trick. Ha, ah, most impressive. I suppose it behooves me to take him as my rival. So that's going to be Olivier's rival now. I bet there's going to be like a 1v1 eventually in the game. Okay, we are so beyond worrying about rivals here. He may look like some pervo ballroom freak, but that power of his is not normal. Yeah. Or Boris wasn't just that Lawrence punk then. They are all way stronger than I thought. Lawrence, isn't Lawrence like actually Lawe or whatever? Or Lowe or something? 